Alright, so this is going to be a quick little video on how to do the update for the LR6X uh, controller. Uh, basically, uh, from the factory there's a bit of an issue with the uh, fourth channel servo sort of being tied into the jump servo. So if you add in like a lighting kit or something where you have the option to change the uh, color or pattern or whatnot with the switch, uh, if you then start jumping, what ends up happening is the jumping button will also activate the switch and control the lights for you. So there is an update that Red Cat put out in order to solve this problem, which will basically disconnect the channel here from the jumping servo. Alright, uh, so yeah, first thing to do is to put the transmitter into the update mode. Now, uh, with the Red Cat, you should have the USB cable. So you go ahead and plug that into your PC, plug it into the back of the controller itself, and then power the controller on. A good thing to do would be to uh, just go over to your endpoint settings, take a good little look at that. It'd be a good idea to uh, have that saved so that you know when you do do the update, it might reset all these things. So you want to put that back exactly to where it was. Okay, so we have that in the video here, so I'll be fine. We go back to the system setup, and then we go all the way down to firmware update. It's going to ask you to confirm, okay. Now, I'm going to switch over to the computer to show you how to do it on the computer side, but once you have this plugged in, uh, you can just go ahead and put this in the firmware update mode, and then we'll take care of the rest on the PC, and then once it's done on the PC, we'll come back to the controller. So I'm just going to confirm, okay. It's going to ask you to say yes. Hit yes. So now the controller is in update mode. Alright, so uh, over here on the computer, uh, you go to the Redcat, uh, Redcat Racing website, uh, redcatracing.com. And from here, uh, you want to go to the search, and you're going to search for LR6X. LR6X. That's going to pop up the controller, load that up, and when you scroll down, you're going to see the RedCat64 radio firmware update instructions. Click on that, and then from in here, you have the download file here, so you just click on this link and it will download it. I've already got it downloaded, so I don't need to do that, but whatever, we'll just do it again. Download, you'll see it downloaded. We click on show in folder, we have the file here right click on it extract the file you've got the file here so now we have the firmware uh, it's important that when you're do, uh, gonna load the application you have to right click on it and click run as administrator if you just open it regularly it's not gonna work properly it's gonna ask you yes and because we already have the uh, the transmitter in update mode right away it loaded up the the, the setup over here update uh, software version hardware version and ready for update so you just click on the update button it does its thing over here it's got the progress Perfect. So now we have update was successful and it is automatically rebooted the uh, remote into standard mode. So we're going to switch back over to the remote to uh, look at the new option that's inside the, um, inside the remote for us. All right. So back on the remote, uh, we have it basically just rebooted exactly like this. So according to the, the, uh, the website, it says that there should be a now a fourth a mixer channel so we're going to go into the setup and go down to the mixers and there should be a fourth mix perfect fourth mix and it's giving the details of the mix and it should be off which basically uh, I think should be having everything working the same as it was before and if you need to uh, disable that feature uh, you have to turn this mix off but we're going to double check that just to be sure. So I'm just going to cancel my way out of here because I don't want to and don't need to play with that. All right. 
now we're going to go over to the the RC and just make sure that everything's working properly. All right, so we're back at the RC. We're just going to make sure that uh, you know everything's working the way it's supposed to. Plug that in. All right. So. Oh no. We are not binded to the RC anymore. She's not controlling nothing and she is powered on. So we're gonna have to rebind after doing this. And here is the bind button, so I'm gonna go through that process. Alright, so binding it up after doing the update is should be pretty simple. Uh, we've got the bind plug inside the uh, BVCC port and we're just going to basically power on the this and then power on the controller holding the bind plug. So power this on and then we hold the bind button and power on the controller. That should do the mind thing. Now we do have everything set up, but the endpoints are not correct. So just have to adjust the endpoints real quick, and and maybe make sure the reversing is correct. All right. So go into the menu. Uh, first channel and channel six are reversed. Right. There we go. So that has those working in the right direction. This is also working in the right direction. And we're going to go to the endpoints. And yeah, look at that. Everything is at 100. So as we said before in the video, you, you do need to take the picture or make note of your endpoints. And uh, I'm going to go take note of mine and put the ones I had back in there so that everything is the same as it was before. And that's basically exactly what you're going to have to do from this point. All right, so now that I got the endpoints all exactly the way they were, uh, car is basically doing exactly what it was doing before. And pop them all up. Pancake. With that, I uh, hope that was helpful.